Warm greetings. The following tutorial is going to cover the Bosnia classification of renal cysts and will specifically cover the latest iteration of this in 2019. It's important to remember that this classification 2019 was a proposed update and it had, has had some validation studies that's undergone um, and will need to undergo more studies and that it's not uh, its use in clinical practice is not quite widespread yet. However, it has some um, interesting features that allow us to um, look at these renal cysts and hopefully um, do a better chance at identifying ones that we don't need to worry about from ones that we need to worry about. We'll start off by uh, talking about Bosniak 1 and 2 cysts, which are benign cysts that uh, really require no follow-up. And in both these instances, they both have a common feature in that the wall is well-defined and that its outer contour is smooth. So well-defined, smooth wall. If you were to measure it, the thickness of the wall would be less than two millimeters. And the wall itself can enhance, so that itself is not a huge uh, feature of this, but it's a thin wall, less than two millimeters in thickness, if you were to measure it. Now, if we talk about Bosniak 1 cysts, these are really simple cysts. So inside, they'll contain simple fluid. On CT, this essentially means Hounslow units ranging from minus nine to 20 Hounslow units. And on MRI, you're going to see fluid intensity on T2-weighted images that is uh, near identical to CSF fluid in the spine. Internally, these simple cysts will have no septations and no calcifications that are associated with them, and certainly no solid components. A simple fluid uh, will be a Bosniak 1 cyst, no follow-up needed. Now, Bosniak 2 cysts, on the other hand, are also cysts that you don't need to worry about, but internally, they're going to have a few more features that make them a little bit more complex. In terms of septations, Bosniak 2 cysts are allowed to have anywhere from one to three thin septations. So when we say thin septations, we're talking about septations that are less than two millimeters in width. Here you can see two septations within this uh, otherwise simple cyst. We don't worry about those and uh, we, we cal classify these lesions as Bosniak 2. And these cysts may, these septations within these cysts may enhance. So again, we're not too worried about that as long as they're thin and there are few of them. They may also have uh, calcifications, and in general, we don't worry about calcifications, but it's important to remember that if the calcification is somewhat nodular, you may want to consider getting an MRI, is that this nodular calcification could mask an underlying enhancing component. So there is some subjectivity built into that. On non-contrast CTs, Bosniak 2 cysts will be uh, called when we see a mass that's homogeneously hyperdense. That means a Hounslow unit internally of greater than 70 Hounslow units. On MRI, this would manifest as hyperintense T1 signal that appears in an otherwise homogeneous mass. And there's at least one study that shows that if that T1 signal uh, within the renal cyst is at least 2.5 times greater than the parenchymal signal within the renal uh, parenchyma, then we can confidently call it a Bosniak 2 cyst, a cyst that we don't need to worry about that needs no further follow-up. The other feature, of course, a non-contrast CT will be simple fluid within it. So you may have a few thin septations with a mass that otherwise has simple fluid, both on uh, by Hounslow units and by MRI signal, as similar to CSF. Uh, we're going to call that a Bosniak 2 cyst. If we were to get a renal mass CT on these patients, uh, they would be masses with a baseline Hounslow unit of 20 Hounslow units, and when you give contrast, we see no enhancement within it. And so if you see a non-enhancing renal mass, uh, we're going to call that a Bosniak 2 lesion. And the other qualification that will allow us to potentially call something a Bosniak 2 lesion is if you see a homogeneous mass that is too small to characterize. So typically these are the lesions that are less than one centimeter in size that uh, are otherwise homogeneous appearing. Statistically speaking, they're going to be simple cysts that we don't need to worry about. So Bosniak 2 lesions for which no further follow-up uh, is required. And we move on then to Bosniak 2F lesions. So these are lesions that um, have a little bit more complexity to them and as a result of that we're required to have follow-up at least at six months time and then uh, yearly for at least five years. And so what are the features we're looking for in Bosniak 2F lesions? Well, we have to look at the wall itself. Now the wall, uh, like the other two lesions, will be smooth in its appearance. However, its thickness will be slightly more. So it'll be minimally thickened, whereas Bosniak 1 and 2, it's up to two millimeters in thickness. Bosniak 2F, we're talking about three millimeter in thickness. So it's slightly more thick than we see in Bosniak 1 and 2, or call something a Bosniak 2F if the septations are slightly thickened. So whereas Bosniak 2 septations are less than two millimeters in thickness, 
Bosniak 2F, if any of the septations that you see are more than 3 millimeters in thickness, you think about a Bosniak 2F lesion. Another caveat for uh, Bosniak 2F lesions is if you see a mass with multiple septations, and we're talking about greater than or equal to four septations, and each of which are thin, we're also going to consider this lesion a Bosniak 2F lesion. So Bosniak 2 lesions will have fewer septations, less than three, each of them less than two millimeters. Bosniak 2F, you start to think about it, if you have more than four septations, each of which are fairly thin, as can be seen in this uh, drawing over here. Now, an additional feature that we can see on MR imaging that would qualify a lesion as a Bosniak 2F lesion is if you end up seeing um, a cystic mass which internally has heterogeneous hyperintense T1 signal. In those instances, some of the subtraction sequences can be suboptimal to allow you to confidently exclude any small enhancing components. So in those instances, it may be reasonable to get a follow-up study to make sure that the lesion has not changed in size or appearance. Move on then to uh, Bosniak 3 lesions. Now, Bosniak 3 lesions have, uh, again, increasing levels of complexity. And in these instances, there may be an intermediate probability of malignancy, and so a urology consult should be suggested. And for Bosniak 3, we're going to look at the walls of the lesions, or we're going to look, look for internal septations uh, within these lesions. Now, either the walls or septations will be enhancing in Bosniak 3 lesions, but in addition to that, they will be thick. So we're talking about thickness of more than four millimeters. So in Bosniak 2, we're talking about less than two millimeters at 2F, three millimeters at three, we're talking about septations or walls that are quite thick, um, more than four millimeters in thickness, as can be seen in these uh, drawings over here. Now, in addition to that, for Bosniak 3 lesions, we need to look for areas of sort of protrusions or sort of nodular thickening uh, associated with either the septations or the walls. And think about it, if, uh, if you see an area that's sort of jutting inside the lesion, either arising from the wall or arising from a septation that is enhancing and that has uh, obtuse margins with respect to either the septation or the wall it's arising from, and if the perpendicular distance from the maximal uh, point of this protrusion to the wall or septation is less than three millimeters, as can be seen in this uh, drawing within this complex cystic mass over here. And finally, Bosniak 4 lesions. These are going to be a uh, high probability of malignancy. You should see a urologist will almost certainly have to be resected. And the key imaging feature with Bosniak 4 lesions are we're going to see an enhancing nodule. Now, enhancing nodule can be really defined as uh, you know, a protrusion within the lesion or arising from a septation that has acute angles with respect to the wall or the septation, as can be seen in this example over here. So you look at the margins within that and the wall, acute angle, so that's going to be a, a discrete nodule, so that's going to be worrisome for a Bosniak 4 lesion. Or if you see a protrusion which has obtuse margins, but the distance from the um, lesion to the wall or the um, septation is greater than or equal to four millimeters. And you can see that with this sort of region of nodular thickening as obtuse margins with respect to the wall of the lesion. And if you were to measure the distance from the wall to the sort of the maximal protrusion, that would be greater than or equal to four millimeters. So when you see something like that, you gotta be worried about a Bosniak for cystic lesion. With that, I thank you for your attention.